I want to say thank you for all the likes, the shares, the comments, and all the wonderful messages that you have all left behind and all the comments. I want to say thanks uh, um, and welcome to all newcomers and welcome um, to all the people who are joining us for the first time. Thank you for being here. I hope you will come back. I want to say thank you to all my new YouTube um, subscribers and all the people who have subscribed to um, my channel and um, <laughs> my um, um, my websites and stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love you share with me and all the love that you sent to me. I want to say if you'd like more in-depth and personal reading, Please look at the bottom of this video. There is an, um, an appointment form that you can just press on the um, link and you go right to um, where you could order a reading. Um, I make sure that my reading is not expensive because I think that everyone should be um, able to um, get an energy reading because um, you will find out things about yourself that you would never imagine. I'm going on into this week because it's the last week in the month of June 2016. And it is the week of the star. And I'm so glad that the universe has sent us this energy because we really needed to end the week on a good note. Okay. This week, um, we're working with... Um, um, the um, energy element of the hair. And when we're working with the energy element of the hair, what happened is that um, we, we, it's like the universe is blessing us with wonderful, wonderful gifts. And by doing that, what happened is that um, just about um, all the people who are having birthdays in this week, it's been blessed with just wonderful, wonderful um, news, wonderful new experiences are coming in their life, which is so fantastic because the universe always do this. Um, not everyone will be having a real wonderful week because this month was a month of uh, um, changes happening. And whenever this happened, is that um, what happened is that the universe, look, if you think about um, the, the element of hair and the zodiac of water, what do we have? We have like tornadoes, we, we have like hurricanes, we have like um, storms and so. And this is the vibration of the week. So if you're not having birthdays in this week, expect um, like a little rocky week this week okay it's a week of ups and down for the people who vibrate on the um with the angels and guides and so it is the the week of the number 17 energy which is the star and it is archangel um gabriel who is coming out and she says a dream come true believe in yourself the end of a difficult situation and isn't this wonderful because the energies of June was just changes, changes, changes with every zodiac element signs. And everyone was having changes in their life because it was the end of the school period for the, the kids and the students. And for the rest of the people, the universe was actually shaking up your life and removing things out of your life, which you no longer had needed. And now the universe is blessing you with something beautiful. So all the changes was really, you know, like upsets for some people. But Archangel Jovial comes in to say, a dream is going to come true. Believe in yourself because it's the end of a difficult situation. And I'm so happy for everyone out there that this has been moving out. This sort of energy is moving out of your life. Okay? We Welcome to the energy vibration reading for the sign of the Leo people. Okay. All right. Welcome. If you're a new Leo, welcome. Thanks for being here. I hope you will return. 
thanks for all the followers all the leo followers and thank you for all the people who have been all the leos that have been supporting the site thank you please like and share these videos i'd like to say that this is just a general reading if you would like to have your own private privatized um weekly energy reading birthday readings yearly readings please contact us on our website the link is below this video okay you leaders wow okay you have the passion on the fire in this week oh my god okay mm -mm -mm. yeah okay we begin the week on Monday the 27 with the, the energy vibration of the lovers okay I know you Leo's you're you know you, you guys are the lovers of what and a lot of energy vibrations are in this week for you guys it's it's a week where you it's like you're you're getting a little blessing here but in a good way but it's like opportunities but you need to see them because um, the universe is showing you but you need to see them and this week begins with a loved one in your life or there is something that you need to balance with a loved one in your life or a business partner and whenever it's a loved one in your life it can be your mother your father or um, your partner or your kids okay when the lovers card comes up think about the most close people to you then again on the business side it has to do with a business partner so if you're in business it, it has to do with your partners or the people who you work with in business but there's someone that you need to deal with a situation on Tuesday the 28th the energy vibration your energy vibration came out and this is so wonderful because it is the energy vibration of the chariot and I am saying congratulations to you guys because whatsoever and if you're planning something you leave us on in this week on on this day it's going to be a yes go for it is you're going to be victorious and successful okay it's your lucky day and it is on um, the 28th of June it's your lucky day Leo so whatever you're planning as a Leo go for it it's going to help you on um, the 29th of June Wednesday the 29th of June you have another energy vibration and this is why I've, I've started to laugh when I started the reading because you Leo something is happening the universe is like you have created so much karma but the universe is like bringing you know little opportunities little 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 nice things for you guys in this week you Leo's on Wednesday, on Wednesday the 29th of June this is the fire energy it's your fire energy it's your energy vibration and you have it on Tuesday and Wednesday so whatever you Leo's are planning in this week it's going to be wonderful and it's going to be a wonderful time for you guys it's unbelievable and I guess you know the energy vibration from out the zodiac energy from your you know it's 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 coming up it's like the universe is like bringing you stuff you know and this is good on Thursday the 30th what comes up is the energy of the moon so be aware um, on Thursday because um, things are going to um, come to light that you weren't aware of so you Leo's um, you know things Things are going to come to light that you weren't aware of. So, you know, you Leo's need really, really, really to be careful on this day because things are going to come to light. Okay. It's uh it's Thursday's the day where it's like wow, I didn't know that was going on. Okay, so Thursday is the day that every, you have to be aware something is going to happen that is going to shed light on something that was um, be hidden. On Friday it's a good day it's the energy vibration of the air energy but it's a wonderful day because it's the energy vibration of a week and it comes back on Friday which is just so wonderful for you Leo's it's a good good thing so on Friday if you're planning anything do something with your lovers meet in a loved one it's going to be magic honeys okay you Leo's so it's going to be wonderful on Friday 
in the weekend the weekend is the weekend of um in you know you're going to look at the stuff that came out on Thursday and thought how didn't I see that why didn't I see that was I being um, so over um, escalating that I really didn't see what was happening to 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 me so but you know it's good because as I said it's an individual you're working on your individual self in this week and this is what is happening things are coming to light that you weren't aware of on Sunday it's another good energy for you because on Sunday what is going to happen you are going to start to look at things at a different um, way and you're going to take actions you are going to like commission yourself to like be aware of stuff and make sure that you are aware of everything that is going on around you and not only um, extrovert but also looking at things that are going on and make sure that you are aware of what is going on okay so for you Leah's um, I should say it's a week where um, you, you know your universe is going to be there um, showing you stuff giving you opportunities and it's a wonderful week for you Leo still okay going further and we're going to the special segment the special segment the overall energy as I have said it was the Agman so it was a week of people connecting with themselves people going inwards and really meditating taking the time to really connect to themselves to find out to what is it that I need to do because the energies and energies vibration that is going on on the hurt is taking away things out of people life so that they can connect with themselves to find out their true divine potential and you know the energy of the week the energy of the week was just so fantastic because um it was it was a week of communication um, a week of ideas thought and intellect you know so you will have obstacles in this week um, for the people who were having like um, difficulties it's a week of difficulties because it's a week of the element as hair and the zodiac um, element as water I mean yeah I did say it it's like storm hurricanes okay so that was a week for most of the zodiac side but the half of the people who were um, having birthdays they had a wonderful week and you know the color of the week is always it, it was blue so it's communication speech you know expression imagination so it has to do with your throat chakra because it's blue um, anything that has to do with communication it was blue so you had to communicate something um, with somebody else and deal with a situation okay the 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 oh, the, the crack the, the the strong energy of this week was you know a number eight which is power authority strength with you know um, an organization a structure or control you know and that's what you needed to find within yourself in this week all right that's the overall energy of this week moving on to the special segment and um, we are looking at the energy and the energy the week of the um, the 26 week the energy was hostility and yes I did say that and um, and you know I can repeat myself but it was a week of you know the, it was like a storm and a hurricane week so you have people coming with uh, to you with hostility in their heretic feel and yet that is not really nice but you know sometimes you need to deal with these people so you can clear the contracts and move them out of your lives and sometimes it is very beautiful to do that okay the next card that I have it is from the map and it says deep frozen and yes some of you guys saw it I saw it in the reason it's like you were froze deep you didn't know where to go you are you were just yeah as the hangman laying in limbo so this th this energy of this week was so perfect because as I said it's like a storm and a hurricane and now you're just froze okay not all of the world is 
<laughs> that you're froze. But being froze, deep froze, meaning that you have no idea which direction, what steps to take in your life. And this is why you were feeling like this. The energies was just um, um, bringing you, it was just pulling you all over the place in this week. Okay. The next um, card that I have is from the Wisdom um, Orica, and it says the Rainbow Prince, compassion and perseverance. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. I'm so sorry, ponies, but um, you know, I told you the energies of the week was just like it's blowing you like the wind, and the Rainbow Prince, because there's so much divine help. There's so much energies out there that can help us whenever we're going through a time of being pull, pulled in two directions or um, being in a situation that we just feel blocked and we can't move out of this in that situation. And the Rainbow Prince is here to say to you, you know, I am bringing you compassion and the energy of perseverance to persevere in whatever you're trying to achieve in your life. And the last card, I've changed it up because I look at the energy of this card and it's a beautiful one for the number 26 energy on this last card. It is from the Oracle and it says, happy, happy. So, you know, this is it. Sometimes we have to go through a very rough period in our life before we can come to the happiness. It's like at the end of the rainbow, there is always a pot of gold. And we have to like go through the bushes and um, the storm and the rain and the hurricanes. And at the end of the day, at the end of the rainbow, there's always a pot of gold. And this is saying happy, happy, happy. And I want to say to you, thank you for coming. Please like and share these videos for personal reading. Please click on our um, booking um, link and please like and share. Thumbs up. And I want to say to you, namaste until next week.